Well, well, well. So, it's official, LeBron is joining the Los Angeles Lakers. Not sure how I feel about it yet, but this video is just my initial reaction and opinion. How's it going fellas, my name's Andy, and today we're gonna take a look at what does LeBron signing with the Lakers actually mean? What does it mean for his career? What implications does it have on everyone else on the Lakers roster? And how good are the Lakers now? Alright, let's get started. So, the first question I'll address is, what does it mean for his career? Well, obviously it means that he's not going to be finishing his twilight years in Cleveland. Maybe when he knows he's going to retire, he might go back and play there for one last season, but as of right now, it looks like he's going to be playing the final years of his career with the Lakers. You know, in my opinion, it's kind of weird to see LeBron in a Lakers uniform. Like, imagine if Kobe was in a Cavs jersey. That's kind of crazy. I don't think anyone's gonna change their opinion of LeBron this time. In the current state of that Cavs roster, there was no way they could win the championship, and LeBron realized that. There are still gonna be some Cavs fans who are gonna burn his jerseys again, but nobody can fault him this time. It's not like last time where, I guess everybody felt like he gave up back in 2010, and then collaborated to team up with two other superstars in their primes. It makes sense why he was villainized. But this time, it's like, well, LeBron's 33 years old. This Cavaliers roster sucks, even more than before. And with Golden State absorbing all of the hates, LeBron has quietly become the quotes, good guy. Now, most people want to see him win and take down the Warriors. So you might ask, well, if you really cared about winning the title, why join the Lakers? Unfortunately, he probably doesn't have a chance with the Lakers either, but there's more to it. Part of him leaving must have had to do with his relationship with the organization and the owner Dan Gilbert. Gilbert has never had a great relationship with LeBron or his management group Clutch Sports. That's gotta be a major reason why he left. Plus, it's uh, Cleveland versus Los Angeles. Not a hard choice to make, he lives there in the summer too. Regardless, signing with the Lakers does not hurt his legacy or career perspective in any shape or form. He gave all he had to the Cavs and deserves to finish the final chapter of his career playing in a place that he wants to play in. The second and third questions are, what implications does this have on the rest of the Lakers roster? And how good are they? Well, shortly after the LeBron signing was reported, there was another report that popped up regarding Julius Randle who apparently made it clear that he does not want to return. Not sure how much of it has to do with LeBron, but Randall recently had a breakout season and he's a young, ball-dominant player. The Lakers can still keep him if they want, because they have his bird rights, they can match any offer and give him anything he wants if they want to pay the higher luxury tax. But he probably wants to go to a team where he could be a focal point or given the bigger opportunity, and that's not going to happen with LeBron. But hey, at least KCP is back, which is good news, right? And what's gonna happen to Isaiah Thomas? He's not coming back, right? So I'm not sure how much is gonna happen in the next few days or weeks or hours, but as of right now, the Lakers starting lineup would look something like this. This is assuming Randall doesn't return, and I don't know who their starting center is gonna be since Lopez is a free agent right now, and I can't see Zubac starting. Of course, the Lakers are not done making moves, so this could change at any moment. Looking at it right now, or what they could potentially do, it's uh, not a roster that could contend for the title, but maybe with Kawhi they could have a chance. And if they do get Kawhi, they'd have to give up a lot of pieces, probably two of either Lonzo Ingram or Kuzma. But even if they don't get Kawhi and they just have LeBron, they'll most likely still make the playoffs, even in the West. And that's all folks, this was just my initial reaction to LeBron signing with the Lakers. It's bound to change in a couple of weeks or days when they continue to make moves and shake up the roster. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts on LeBron to LA. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll see you next time. Peace.